Now there is a very famous saying in our firm: W N D equal to W N D. I'll give you five seconds if anyone can guess what it actually means. Well, it means work not documented is equal to work not done. Now I'm sure whenever we use the word documentation. uh every chartered accountant would agree that it is one of the most monotonous parts of our profession we are always looking out for our juniors to delegate this task ki vouching tum kar lo main khali differences analyze kar lunga jo bhi agreement hai jo bhi minutes hai uska summary bana do i'll just go through the key terms and the key words my agenda for today is to change the connotation with this word documentation to a happy one using ai along with excel and i'm going to showcase it how we can do that uh to start with now vouching is one of the most integrated one of the oldest techniques used as in our audit procedure uh what instead of filling the data manually i can show you how we can uh how we can go along with it with very few commands just a second yeah oh uh, so this is a tool we are this is the sales register which is provided to us by the client this is the invoice what we have to do is uh, we have to just, i think you need to share the screen back again because it is not coming in sure i request all the people to share the uh, screen rather than document is my screen visible now yes yes uh, so what we are going to do is uh, this is the sales register we have to feed the invoice and here is a small test we will check whether the invoice number in the sales register is equal to the invoice number in the actual invoice copy and whether the amount is equal to the same so we go to this tool called data snippet all we have to do is we have to import the invoices uh i'll show you how the invoices are imported now we go to this uh document matching uh template here what we do is we go to we go to the first option we have to select our sample all right we want to match the invoice against this data right against the sales register we select all the documents that we have uploaded now this is the input column so input column b we need the output in column g right so output column a will change it to g instead of f if you see this is the invoice number we want the output here right invoice number column g similarly for column c we'll change it to h here we'll change it to i and here we'll change it to j all right now there are more advanced options which we can use for example this fuzzy text match here i'll show you an example if you see at row number 13 the name of the customer instead of private limited the full spelling it is mentioned as pvt and ltd so what this option fuzzy match does is instead of exact match it will give you an approximate match right so here is an amount of acceptable threshold the difference which we can accept will keep it to zero as you want exact matching of the numbers we'll go to this uh match all rows and we are done with it in a matter of minutes i would say it hardly took us 2 minutes we are done we have filled in the invoices now what we have to do is we just have to check our testing we have to do the analytical part rather than the redundant data feeding part for invoices we see everything is true it is correct now for uh amounts will only check for the differences right so these are the differences we are getting we see the amounts were not captured here so what we do is we just click on this uh, link 
it will directly take you to the invoice. You don't have to search among so many invoices. Uh, all you have to do is now we can use the help of text snip. We go here, we'll just capture the invoice amount. It's populated here. So simple here, we go again. Same thing, text snip will capture the amount. We'll do it for others as well. You don't even have to keep on looking for invoices, matching it with the invoice number. We just have to click it. If if you make a mistake, you can delete delete the snip as well. Uh, we'll, we'll go here. Done. We can format it. We can format it as our liking. Now, if we check for the difference, the difference is coming to zero. What ideally would have taken us around half an hour for these 20 samples to check each, each invoice and document the parameters manually, we have done it in a matter of three minutes. Isn't it amazing? Now, this this was the vouching part. I'll show you two more use cases for this. Now, for example, you want to analyze a balance sheet for investing purpose. All right. You just have the PDF format. Now, what if you had it in Excel? You may you may have been able to calculate the ratios and the financial parameters faster, right? So what we'll do here, we'll again, I have taken the Vodafone uh, financial statements uh, as a sample. We'll just import the document. Now that financial statements are so huge, right? This, uh, this tool has a feature where you can just search for the word you're looking for. Suppose balance sheet as ad. Simple. We got, we straight away got to the balance sheet phase. You don't have to search for the balance sheet. Uh, all we have to do is now we have, we go to the table snip because we're extracting the financial statement. What if you go to the text snip, if you use this, Everything will come into one row, but we don't want that, right? We want the financial statement as it is. So what we do is we put our cursor here. We go to the table snip. We extract the data. It is this simple. I have, I'll, this is the asset part. I'll capture the liability part as well. <clears throat> Done. We have the balance sheet from PDF to Excel, clean, not much formatting required. We can only format it as per our visual convenience. And we're done with it. You can see uh, the Last figures. Are... If you want to change anything, you can always go here. You can refer to the document. You have an uh, option to edit the column and we are done with it. Now, all you have to do is you have to calculate ratios or you have to analyze the numbers. You don't really have to sit and document it. And one last use case, which I'll show you is, for example, you have a huge agreement and you want to make a synopsis of it, right? Now, we'll do it again. We'll, uh, we'll go to data snipper. We already have the document imported. So we already have it imported. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, we'll remove the document. You even have the option to remove the documents and it will not hamper your work, but it will reduce the file size if you remove the document. Uh, yes. So we'll just go, we'll import it again. Now, suppose I have to summarize the CSR policy. I have to check whether it is correctly documented and summarize it from the FS, right? So here we can again write uh, CSR. We can search for it. Here, now the first is brief outline on the CSR policy, right? We'll just, we'll go to the text snip. We'll extract the data. And we are done. Nothing, we don't have to manually type it. Composition of the CSR committee. All we have to do is, we'll click it here. We need the composition. We'll just snip it. Done, we can do the formatting later. Now we have to check whether the web link 
it is mentioned in the financial statement or not. We don't really need the link. So all we can go is we can go to the validation. Your time up. Time up for your time up. Okay.